So ladies and gentlemen, No more, you'll get the photo and video. Yeah, but video, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. We finished plant out the watermelon. So we have over 400, close to 500 plants. We have one more tree leaf to plant out. I mean, trust me, these, these plants are looking good for them. Really nice. I said before I plant them I planted them three feet along the row well it's not the exact three feet but it's 32 so it's close you know 36 would be three feet so it's very close so we could just simply say three feet along the row by four feet between row so from this plant to that plant there is four feet and from this plant to that plant there is three feet yeah so that's where it's a three four is twelve that's that's a three square, 12 square feet per plant. All right? Because I know the plants will run and they will spread. Now, different people go for different planting distance, but it depends on the variety one and it depends on the amount of light that the, the plant is exposed to. Here is in the open, wide open space. And we have a lot of sunshine up in the hills of St. Catherine. So we can go a little bit closer than the average. You know what I mean? The average is around 15 square feet. 12 square feet per plant as I said the variety that we have here is crimson king hybrid and they are looking really really good the drip is dripping trust me you can see it's very wet you know what I mean it's very very effective and Mr. Shed right now is going through and is spraying a cocktail mixture a fungicide insecticide and that insecticide we're using is caprid we're going to use using some mighty side soon to kill kill off the red spider mite which is a dangerous pest that is the one of the pests that carries the disease the mosaic virus along with aphids and thrips so the one that we are using don't kill aphids kill thrips but it don't kill the spider mite so we need some some um some mighty side and the mighty side that we are going to use is called cure right now we have one that is called super um super make super make don't quote me on it i'm going to put the name in it but the active ingredients is abamectin that's the active ingredients in it all right we could have used it but i totally forgot it so i didn't carry it today so the next round of application we're going to use that all right and of course we use fungicide and 20 20 20 fertilizer so that's 20 part nitrogen 20 part, 20 part potassium 20 part phosphorus also Tomorrow we're going to give them some fertilizer rich in phosphorus because that is the nutrient that the plant needs to establish a good root, root system. So we're going to use a high phosphorus fertilizer. Alright. So that's tomorrow. And we're going to give that um, like a dressing, a side dressing. It's not going to be through the, the fertigation system or the irrigation system. So we're going to give them a dressing of that to get the root system, root system developed and get them off to a good start. After that, we're going to give them a nitrogen rich fertilizer to get the leaf growing and then after the plants start to grow rigorously and going to the blooming stage we're going to give high calcium high boron high potassium fertilizer so that's the fertilizer um, regime in a nutshell so tomorrow we're going to give them some high phosphorus fertilizer for root and then we'll continue to give them the 2020 to develop their root their leaf system our shoot system all right so they're looking good they are looking really 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 good and as i said the drip is dripping and everything is working according to plan all right now we'll just leave everything in god's hand tomorrow also we're going to do some fencing so we're going to fence from the section of the water harvesting facility right there we have a pond we need to clean out so we're going to fence from that side all the way up tomorrow and tomorrow is Good Friday, so we never stop working. Never stop working, guys. So as I said, plants are looking good, well sprayed, I wish you could say well treated, and they're off to a good start. I'm telling you, I'm proud of these plants. I mean, look at them. Guys, remember to like the video, and if you like to plant watermelon, if you're a watermelon farmer, subscribe to the channel, follow the channel, share it with 
persons who are like mind like yourself and you will learn a thing or two and you can also share your expertise if you are a watermelon farmer we'd like to get your feedback right because we are in this thing together and each one teach one and we can learn from each other cool for home and garden fix and tricks i'm michael peace